Hi everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and today I'm going to talk about carb backloading. What that is, how to do it, should you be doing it? Hmm, I don't know. Um, so all this is in honor of my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution, and I have my new Female Fat Solution program out, so you can click the link to learn more about nutrition for female hormones, uh, how to eat for your cycle, how to really work with different um, female issues. If you're questioning about whether this would be... Um, you know, something for you, you can click the link, learn more, or feel free to either comment or even message me privately if you're not comfortable commenting. I'd be more than happy to kind of troubleshoot some things for you or answer any questions that you have. So, carb backloading. Um, something that is uh, very common for a lot of men to do and can be... Um, it can provide some results. So it's, it's sort of a little switch on carb cycling. Um, and one of, and I've done stuff on carb cycling, so if you guys have questions on carb cycling, let me know, I'll do another video on that. Uh, carb cycling, though, essentially I talk about that and getting carbs in different carbs during different days. And as long as you get the carbs in by the end of the day, you're fine. But it's just, you know, for the entire day. I always like to talk about getting, you know, meals spaced out evenly throughout the day, not necessarily eating all of your food at one time. Because um, that's really hard on your digestive system. But... With carb backloading, um, that is a, looks a little bit different, and I'll explain kind of how and why that is. So, the carb backloading um, is is really focusing carbs on a specific time of day. Now, <laughs> for those of you that are athletes and that have done, um, we used to. So I played volleyball and basketball, and I did track in, in high school, and I played volleyball in college. And I can't tell you how many spaghetti dinners I've been to. It was, it was like we were superstitious about it almost. I want to say, um, all the spaghetti dinners. We had a game the next day, so if we had Thursday night games, uh, we had a spaghetti dinner Wednesday night. Yep. Mhm. Mm because you, we were carb loading, right? Okay. Well, this is this is different than that. This is focused on getting your body uh, glucose at a specific time to really make sure it's not absorbing and using and storing that glucose. So carbs, I'm going to refer to as glucose in this point here. Okay, just to um, just to just to kind of be clear on that. So. With carbs being glucose, there's different times a day that you can be eating carbs. If you're eating carbs um, before a workout, before your workout, you're going to get more energy for your workout, which means you can work out harder, build more muscle faster. You know, sometimes recovery can happen a little bit better then. So there's a, a lot of benefit to having carbs before your workout. I'm talking like a bigger amount of carb, not just like five grams or something, not just like a little bit of an apple slice or something. No, I'm talking a bigger amount of carbs. You know, 30, 35 grams of carb. Something like that. Like toast or a bagel or something. That's a bigger amount of carb. So if you're having more carbs before your workout, you're going to have increased energy. Now, if you... Uh, this is always something to just kind of keep in mind in the back of your head. If you are noticing that you are not getting energy for your workouts, this might be something to look at for yourself too. Now... Most of the time people do carb backloading when they work out in the evening. So this is specific for evening workouts, what I'm going to cover. If you work out in the morning, this doesn't mean you can't do this. This just means you would have to focus your workout differently or expect different energy for your workout versus working out in the evening. So carb backloading, I'm just going to put that down here really quick, right down there for evening workouts. Um, so I don't forget. Evening workouts. W-O stands for workout. <laughs> Star evening workouts. So this would be basically the entire day for carb backloading. You're not going to be eating that much carb. You know, little tiny bits here and there kind of spaced throughout the day, but you're mostly going to be focused on proteins and, you know, healthy proteins, fats, that type of a thing. But you're not eating a ton of carb throughout the day. Now, you may have more carb than before your evening workout, but then you have a lot of carb in the evening. So increase your carbs after workout. I didn't spell that right. Okay. After workout and then in evening. So how this works is it works with your glucose uh, sensitivity, your insulin sensitivity levels. When you, when your body's really sensitive to insulin, it actually will store glucose more easily and readily 
is fat. So that happens earlier in the day. This is why I always recommend you eat a lot of healthy fats in the morning to help boost your metabolism and it prevents you from storing as much carb as fat because the way it helps with your blood sugar levels. That's what this is kind of all about. After a workout, evening workout, and in the evening, your body is less sensitive to glucose, which means you're not as likely to store it as fat. Now, this isn't the same for everybody. If you have issues with that, again, you can comment or you know ask me a question if you're wondering about if this is right for you or if this would work for you. Um, but really limiting your carbs throughout the day and then really having them a before and after an evening workout and, and then again in the evening having a lot more carb than your, I don't want to say a lot of carb, it's not like you're going to be eating an entire pizza or something. That's not carb backloading. <laughs> I'm going to eat an entire pizza and call it carb backloading. No, no. This is just focused on healthy amounts of carb, normal amounts of carb, but really focusing it on this time of day in the evening when your body is less sensitive to it. So basically, it's not going to be uploading the glucose the same way, so it's not going to be storing it as fat as much. Now again, if you're not getting carbs throughout the day and you work out in the morning, you're going to have less energy for your workout, so make sure you're prepared for that. Um, there's some different nutritional things that I re recommend for that, so you can let me know if you have questions on that. But having it, having your carbs more in the evening sometimes is not necessarily a bad thing. A lot of times people say, oh, I'm not supposed to have carbs at night. I, my metabolism slows down. I shouldn't be having carbs. It depends. It depends on what you've done that day. It depends on what your goals are, what you're trying to accomplish, and how you're trying to play with the nutrients in your body and how your body reacts and responds to this. So having your carbs later at night, your body's not going to be as likely to store it as fat, which is fascinating. Okay, I have a couple of questions. Well, Danny says, I work out at 7 p.m. What do you recommend? Um, no, why does this keep popping around? 7 p.m., what do you recommend before or after? Also, is something shake meal one or... Um, sorry, I'm just trying to read this. I'm sorry. This is... For some reason, this is being really funny, and I can't read the writing here. What somebody commented. Workout at 7 p.m., 7.30 p.m. What do you recommend before and after? Working out before or after. So if you wanted to try to do the carbs uh, loading, I can't read the rest of that. But if you want to try to do, if you work at 7.30 p.m. and you wanted to try to do carb backloading with this, that would be a perfect time to do it. So during the day, you would maybe have less carbs. Cut down your carb serving throughout the day. Still have protein, healthy fats you know, lots of veggies, that type of a thing. And then for your evening workout, you would have, you know, maybe 30 to 40 grams of carbohydrate before your workout. And then you'd have a lot more carb, you know, 30, 40, 50 grams of carb after your workout. So if you're getting a protein shake that is just protein and does not have any carb in it after the workout, you're not doing carb backloading then in the evening. So just a different way to think about it. Again, you can do this um, to really help your body recover as well. And then somebody else is asking if your workout is 7 to 9 p.m. and you don't get home until 9 and you do a recovery shake, um, should you eat more carbs than this? If you're trying to do carb backloading and you're working out later at night, which is fine. Again, that's totally fine. Carb backloading, it, so the carb backloading has the two components. One, during the day you're not getting the carbs in and you're focusing them more at night. And um, so you could do that. If a post-workout shake that people do during the day typically is focused more on just getting that protein in after, which is, which is great. That's perfect. You're getting high protein in. A lot of times having branched chain amino acids helps that muscle recovery happen faster. It gets uploaded right into your system. It doesn't have to get processed by your liver. So there's no delay there. Um, but I will often do that for people who work out during the day. Um, earlier in the morning or during the day, but at night, you would have to have more carb at night and focus that, um, focus on getting that in before bed to do the carb backloading. So um, carb to protein ratio of tracking, say it's 120 grams of protein in a day, carbs would be similar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, most of that, the majority of that, you know, would be focused at the end of the day. So you would maybe have say 25 grams of carb during the day and say so you work out at 730 or something. Then you would eat, say 6.30, you have your pre-workout meal. 6 or 6.30, you have your pre-workout meal, whatever that would be. You would have, you know, 40 grams of carb then. And then after workout, you would have 60 grams of carb. So 25 during the day, 40 pre, 60 after. 
So hopefully that kind of answers your question. Um, and that's just an example of something. But again, eating a whole pizza at night is not <laughs> carb loading. It is looking at the entire day of how you're doing that. Um, but sometimes if you're stuck somewhere, if you are like, I am working out and I hate getting up in the morning and carb cycling is too much for me to track. Uh, that's hard. That's really hard to do. I don't like it. Then this might be something really good for you to try. Um, you'll know, you know, pretty quick if this is something that agrees with you. If you are working out later at night, especially, your body is revved up differently and your metabolism is going and your, your digestive system is going to be a little more active because you're more active in the evening. Some people who work out really early in the morning, they get tired by the end of the day. That's me. I work out earlier in the day. And then by the end, well, I also have kids. So I don't know. It's the potato, potato here. I don't know. But you know, by the end of the day, nine o'clock doing a workout, I'd be like, are you kidding me? I'm getting in bed right now. But for some people, if you're working out later at night, you feel energized because you've worked out. Great time to do the carb backloading. So, whew, I'm going to put out, um, I will, um, if you guys have questions on this, I don't want to spend too much time on this. If, if, People don't have more questions on this, but these have been some really good questions so far. And if you are interested in doing carb backloading and have more questions on it, again, comment or message me. I'd be more than happy to talk about carb backloading and whether or not it'd be the right thing for you for your evening workouts. Um, Cause it can be really, really beneficial for people, especially if you're feeling stuck. So all right, everyone have a great day and I will chat with you guys later.